नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज मसल्स एंड मूवमेंट्स चैप्टर थर्टीन स्पोर्ट एंड मूवमेंट बायोलॉजी क्लास टेन इन ह्यूमन बॉडी मूवमेंट इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑफ मसल्स एंड बोन्स If any one is not present, movement will not occur. If muscles are not present, we will be unable to move. And if bones are not present, we will not move. The type of the muscles which are present attached to the bones are skeletal muscles. the muscles which are attached to the bones and which help the bones in movement are called skeletal muscles skeletal muscle consist of two ends one end of the skeletal muscle is called origin of skeletal muscle and other end of a skeletal muscle is card insertion there are two parts the starting part is origin and the ending portion of the muscle is insertion origin is the part of the skeletal muscle which is always attached with the immovable bone it is attached with the immovable bone and origin is a part and end of skeletal muscle which is always attached with immovable bone and insertion is the end of the skeletal muscle which is always attached with the movable bone the part the end of the muscle which causes movement of the bones is insertion the last part of a skeletal muscle which is attached to a movable bone i mean to say insertion is the main agent for movement origin doesn't allow movement it gives the muscles a support because origin is the part of skeletal muscle attached to a fixed bone and immovable bone i show you diagrammatically imagine this is the upper arm and uh, this is the upper arm bone and uh, this as well as this is the lower arm bone the upper arm bone is fixed in a bone of shoulder girder called scapula this is fixed bone and these two are movable bone there are two muscles one muscle present at the top at the front of this bone and one muscle is present at the back of this upper arm bone the muscle which is present on the front of this upper arm bone called humerus is biceps muscle and the muscle which is present below this humerus upper arm bone at the back of the upper arm bone
is called triceps muscle front muscle of the upper arm bone is called biceps and the back muscle of the upper arm bone is called triceps usually muscles the skeletal muscles cause movement when they contract on a command on an order from central nervous system which controls the movement in body in this diagram this is origin of the biceps and this is the origin of the triceps now this is the insertion of a biceps and this end of the triceps is its insertion the bones at insertion are movable this and this bone is movable and the bone at the origin of bicep or any muscle is immovable or fixed bone like origin of biceps here is fixed and origin of triceps which is same as the origin of the biceps is also a fixed bone now you see note the difference in the thickness and size of the biceps and triceps in this diagram triceps is broader in size triceps is broader in size triceps is thicker and smaller because in this diagram triceps is under contraction triceps is contracted in this diagram and because of the contraction triceps has become small thick and broad as compared to the biceps which is long and uh, which is thin and uh, which is big less broad when one muscle contracts as in this diagram triceps is contracted when a muscle contracts and it causes the straightening of a joint this muscle is called extensor muscle triceps is an extensor muscle why triceps is called extensor muscle because when triceps contracts it causes straightening or extension of the joint at the contraction of triceps our arm gets straight at elbow our arm is not bent in case of the contractions of triceps muscle this phenomenon is called extension and the muscle which causes extension is called extensor muscle in our body there are many extensor muscles out of which triceps is mentioned as an example in your book now we talk about biceps when biceps will contract it will become broad small and thick and uh, triceps will become big thin and less broad or you may say narrow like biceps because biceps is attached at insertion with this bone when biceps will contract triceps will relax and this will cause the pulling of the arm at elbow these bones will raise up to here your arm will be bent by the contraction of biceps and a muscle which on contraction causes bending of the joint is called a flexor muscle so biceps is a flexor muscle because on contraction it bends the joint it bends the arm and uh, it is called flexor because of that triceps is an extensor muscle because on a contraction it causes the straightening of the joint straightening of the arm 
The phenomenon of straightening of the arm by triceps is called extension. That is why triceps is an extensor muscle. And the phenomenon of biceps contraction, which causes bending of the joint or bending of the arm, is called flexion. And the muscle which causes flexion is called flexor. So biceps is a flexor muscle. It is always the norm, it is always the case that when biceps or flexor will contract, the triceps or extensor will relax and vice versa. Such an opposite movement of the muscles, such an opposite action of the muscles with respect to each other is called antagonism antagonism in english means animosity being enemy to one biceps and triceps or flexor or extensor muscles other flexors or extensor muscles in our body are antagonist to each other because they show antagonism when one muscle is contracting, the other is relaxing, such a phenomenon in which one thing is happening in one way while the other is happening in another way is called antagonism. And such parts of the body which show such type of movements or such type of phenomena are called antagonist. Biceps and triceps are antagonistic muscles or they are antagonists because they work opposite to each other when biceps will contract the triceps will relax other flexors and extensor muscles like biceps and triceps are also antagonists they work in, in the in antagonistic pair and this phenomenon is called antagonism the contraction of one muscle at a time while at the same time the relaxation of another muscle in pair